Angelica Nicolai, a former member of the European Parliament and former prosecutor, she was also nominated in 2008 for the position of Minister of Justice of Romania. Mrs. Norica Nicolai, you are paying close attention to the international actuality and also you are a former prosecutor. What do you think about this case so far and what is your opinion on it after what you have heard here? I have not only watched the unfolding of this case on your TV broadcast, but followed this case closely as it made its debut at the end of the year during the holidays. Initially I thought it's a cover-up for something. But from what I can see, from a criminal point of view, everything looks like an improvisation, even the judge has excluded the rape accusation, as what the prosecution had on file wasn't sufficient evidence to convince anyone it was rape, so the judge asked for more evidence. And regarding the human trafficking accusation, obviously a very sensitive topic for USA, who is monitoring human trafficking, it is quite improvised, rigged. My opinion is that the authorities in Bucharest simply executed an order. I think it's an operation. More important is to find out what was actually the main activity conducted by the Tate brothers in Romania. Because in no case the $100 million, others say it could be more, personal wealth cannot come from video chat. Of course, Adina is perfectly right. I haven't seen any people being deprived of liberty, being coerced to participate in such activities. Rather, they are some figures who have a certain influence, especially in the United States and Great Britain, who are against neo-Marxist formulas. They have all kinds of radical ideas. Sure, we can agree with them or not, but it seems that some Someone has given an order to make the Tate brothers disappear from their capacity to influence the public, especially Andrew, because he's the most vocal and has a certain influence on a significant number of the public. Tristan is calmer, so I'd rather think it's a workplace feud, a matter that doesn't belong to us, but to others, but it was executed in Bucharest.